All right, gonna show you some more crazy news from the charismatic Jezebel witch, Kat Kerr. Uh, now she is saying, let me just do full screen. Now she is saying, uh, this is from Protestia, which they were originally called Pulpit and Pen, but they changed their name, I think. Charismatic prophetess, Kat Kerr, angels compete in Olympic-like contests in heaven called Angel Games. Seriously, you can't make this stuff up. And of course, you got the occult symbol, the Olympics, the rings, all that stuff. Look at the occult significance of that. It's um, totally wicked and uh, occultic and full of witchcraft. But the Olympics, the whole thing of the Olympics is that basically all the nations come together in some kind of new world order to play sports and play games. And it's a Masonic ritual. It's referencing the new world order. That's what the Olympics are. All the nations put aside their differences and come together as some one world nation, basically, to play sports. Uh, but gonna read Kat Kerr, our favorite pink-haired mainstream continualist, uh, spunky. Yeah, continualism is a wicked satanic heresy, by the way. The the sign gifts were for the Jews. Okay, First Corinthians two one twenty two. The Jews require a sign. Okay, sign gifts are not among the Gentiles today. Now they do come back during the time of Jacob's trouble, but again, they're for the Jews. They're not for Gentile Christians today. We don't need sign gifts. We have a more sure word of prophecy, the word of God. You can see that in Second Peter chapter one verses nineteen to twenty one. Okay, so the scripture is all we need. We don't need these these uh, devil possessed charismatics and their phony sign gifts. Um, spunky charismatic meme bot and quote Dr. Michael Brown approved prophetess has given us a, f a fresh round of quote revelation about heaven and it is a joy to behold. Okay, uh, appearing on episode one of Wednesdays with Cat and Steve, one of the fellow guests looking pros looking positive thrilled that he gets. Uh, so gets to nerd out and ask Kat a question, uh, ponders this query. Uh, question, I'm a huge Superman fan, uh, like massive, okay? My question is, can you fly in heaven? Okay, now, a minister of God, a servant of God, okay, because remember, for, uh, 2 Corinthians 11, 13 and 15, it's clear that Satan's ministers come as, an, as ministers of righteousness, and that even Satan himself comes as, as an, can appear as an angel of light. Okay, so a minister of God, when asked a question, they'll give you a scriptural response, a quote from the word of God, and say this is what the scriptures say. But look what this uh, charismatic Jezebel witch, Kat Kerr, said. Uh, yes, you can fly in heaven. You can fly in heaven, number one. Why wouldn't you? Uh, stupid mouse is not working again. Um, which is what the Holy Spirit says to me all the time. Well, she has a spirit saying stuff to her, definitely, but it's the spirit of Antichrist, not the Holy Spirit. But I agree, she definitely has a spirit saying stuff to her. Um, why wouldn't you fly? I mean, it's the place of creation. It's the place uh, and the power of God is everywhere. If plants can sing, uh, if you can travel on light in heaven, if you can speak and create food, and it's on a train in front of you, why wouldn't you be able to fly? Uh, and there's a park, there's an amusement park. I was taken to that, and I have evidence that I was taken. And that to that in my, to that in my book, it really exists. And I don't deny it. I think she definitely did see something. She was given a vision of some sort, but it was it was from demonic influence. It's from devils. So okay, because I do believe these charismatics that they are seeing something. They are being given visions, okay, from devils. If you understand how how demonic entities work, how devil spirits work, they can give you lying signs and wonders. So I agree. She definitely saw something that she thought was heaven, and maybe these these spirits were telling her that it was heaven, okay, but it was a demonic vision. It was lying signs and wonders. They have a place called Flyby. That's one of the amusement things in heaven. Amusement things in heaven, in their park. You and you are taught to fly, and your friends are, who are in heaven will come and watch you learn to fly because it's hilarious. You were not really good in the beginning. You were like spinning through the air. Okay. Now, the question would come. Uh, chapter, book, chapter, and verse. Uh, I used to say chapter and verse, but I kind of realized the proper term would, would be book, chapter, and verse. Okay. Uh, but. Please give me a book, chapter, and verse for any of this, okay? Because remember, Second Peter 1, uh, 19, 21, we have a more sure word of prophecy. So what you're saying, claiming from the Holy Spirit, where is it at in God's word? It's not in there. Nor is there an amusement park where you're taught how to fly. Ridiculous. I mean, you actually have places to sit uh, and watch, you learn. But the point is, Christopher Reeves, who made it to heaven, it's what's it's what he gets to do in heaven. You'll find out when you go through, you'll be standing in line with everyone else waiting to learn. And the question question person asking the question, that sounds amazing. What about super strength? Can you lift super heavy things? And she says, well, you know, nothing really weighs much in heaven. It's made out of light, but it's substantial. It's substantial like the walls 
of your mansion in heaven. Do not try to run through them. A portal will open, and you will run through the portal and the wall of your mansion. Again, where is this at in scripture? Book, chapter, and verse, please. Okay, I don't care about your little vision. Again, I, did, I do believe she did see something. She was given a vision, but if it's not in the word of God, I don't care what she says, okay? That, that should be your standard. Someone says, I have vision. Okay, I believe you. I, I definitely believe you saw something, but where is that in the word of God? If it's not in God's word, I don't care of what your vision is, okay? You may have saw something, but if it's not in God's word, then it's from the spirit of Antichrist. But it's a real place in your spiritual body, in the spiritual world. And uh, you feel uh, the ground walking you're walking on. You feel the food you're eating. And I would imagine, since this is one of the best things, I've talked about very little. There are act they actually have angel games. Not kidding at all. They actually have what you call Olympics. They call angel games in heaven. And the army of heaven put on put them on a regular basis, put on, put them on, sorry, in a regular basis, when they come back from a lot of warring, they get to do the angel games and show how good they are at sufficient, at different supernatural things they do. And you'll probably be, you're, you, and so you'll probably be watching, you'll be there watching that. Well, she won't be watching that because she's going to wake up in hell, but um, that's the end of the article. But uh, I'm going to show you some more scripture because what she just said has no basis in the word of God at all. So, again, I believe she did see something. I don't deny it. She definitely saw something, okay? It was from devil spirits, okay? It has no basis in the word of God. So, she saw something, but if it's not in the word of God, then I don't, I, I reject it. Okay, I reject it as unscriptural, okay? But she definitely did see something. But, again, from devil spirits. Revelation chapter 2, verse 20, uh, to, down through 22. Uh, chapter 2, verses 20 to 22, I'll put it that way. Okay, perfect description of this charismatic Jezebel witch, Kat Kerr. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess. Hello, Kat Kerr. Calleth herself a prophetess. To teach and seduce my servants to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Verse 21, And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Verse 22, Behold, I will cast her into a bed, uh, them that commit fornicate commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. Okay? Gotta watch out for these charismatic Jezebels to say the Holy Spirit saw something. The Holy Spirit gave me a vision. Well, I agree. This, uh, us, there was a spirit that gave you a vision. I don't deny that. Okay? But it was a devil spirit that gave you that vision. So, don't be deceived by this charismatic witch. And don't be deceived by the charismatic Catholic cult that is. It's just Roman Catholicism adding human extra-biblical visions and traditions to the holy uh, completed word of God. You know, not holding the Bible as as how it should be as a more sure word of prophecy according to 2 Peter 1, 19-21 but no, you're adding your visions and experiences as if they trump God's complete, in, inerrant, inspired word of God. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren Goodbye. Thank you.